Now, from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather tonight. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go now, pushing right on into our Monday evening. Again, hopefully your Monday afternoon went well. Hopefully you stayed nice and cool, nice, cool, and safe as we went through the afternoon because I tell you what, the highest heat indice, the highest heat index number I saw here with the Metroplex today was up around 117, so extremely dangerously hot. Um, we have more of that on the way. We're going to talk about that. Maybe some good news on the horizon with some possible rain chances heading into the weekend. Again, more on that coming up. But here's our Monday evening. And again, yes, it is much the same. Uh, temperatures easing down through the 90s. Uh, so again, heat safety, heat precautions, there's no two ways about it. Uh, we have to remember those even past sunset as we uh, go through our evening. Heat advisory does continue here uh, for all of North Texas. And again, I can tell you with those heat index values pushing well up over 110 today, um, we've really through the afternoon pushed into even the excessive heat warning criteria. Uh, we're trying to taper down these heat index values over the next several days. Most of the data showing the humidity, the moisture values come down beginning tomorrow. And as that happens, even though it's still going to be hot with air temperatures in the triple digits, uh, it'll be less humid, it'll be less sticky, and we'll try and again push down some of those heat index values. But we'll track that again as we go through the remainder of your work week. Now, actual high temperatures today. Take a look at this. I mean, widespread triple digits. And again, the numbers really just don't even fit on the map. Uh, essentially from 35 off to the east, most locations, 105 to 106. Again, air temperatures here. And again, officially even at DFW tapped a 101. I uh, love field, by the way, right around 99. Again, earlier this afternoon. So where's the active weather? Well, it's not in the southern plains. Of course, that's where the heat dome is now building in. And there's quite a bit of active weather off in the northeast today. In fact, even some severe weather up there and also up across parts of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, ongoing active weather there. Uh, but again, where you see the areas of orange, that is dry, stable air. And again, of course, all of that underneath the summer heat dome. And there it is, currently centered across parts of Mexico, but extending more so now even up here in the parts of the Lone Star State. One of the reasons why our daily rain chances have turned off and one of the reasons why our air temperatures, not just the heat index numbers, are now soaring into the triple digits. Again, that's the culprit right there, the old summer heat dome now really beginning to build in. And again, you can see along the periphery, right? We talk about this all the time. In fact, some folks call it the ring of fire uh, because everything kind of circulates in a clockwise fashion around it. Uh, but even as we look at the convective outlook for tomorrow, I get all the active weather off to the north, off to the east, again, spinning around that area of high pressure. But of course, where the core is, the center of it, across parts of the Lone Star State, including us here in North Texas, we're completely dry, we're completely quiet. And in fact, you can even see that here on the model data. Look at everything spinning again clockwise around that area of high pressure. So the bottom line as we go over the next several days, again, talking about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday, this is essentially your forecast. But like I mentioned, there are some indications that we may have some weather changes on the way as we get into this upcoming Friday, late Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Again, there may be an opportunity of some rain and some storms in the area. Again, we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up later on in the hour. Uh, but upper 70s to right around 80, these are your out-the-door temperatures, your overnight lows, out-the-door temperatures for tomorrow, Tuesday. And as we go through tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to continue to dial up the heat numbers here. And again, air temperatures, generally speaking, widespread triple digits around the area. And then as we get into tomorrow, Tuesday night, and early Wednesday morning, similar story, upper 70s to right around 80. Again, the heat wave does continue. And the way it looks right now, Wednesday is going to be the day that we really top out, peak out, as far as our air temperature highs go. And again, here in the Metroplex, I'm forecasting 107. Again, you can see some of the data here coming in is even suggesting uh, some 110 plus numbers, again, for air temperature highs in our western county. So again, keep in mind, dangerously hot heat wave rolls on, again, as we go over the next several days. So here we go, 106, 107, 104 for Thursday. And then again, as we get into this upcoming weekend, 4th of July weekend, the way it looks right now, there's going to be a summer cold front in the area. And again, if that does materialize, uh, we will have some rain chances. And in fact, we'll try and ease the air temperatures back down into the mid to upper 90s. But I can tell you, even during that time, heat index will be a concern.